Okay, so you can't tell now because I moved the camera, but I've got my Christmas tree up. <laughs> We're having so much fun here on this channel. All right, hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I'm going to be showing you guys what I've bought the past two, three months. Mo mostly makeup. There's like a few things in here that aren't makeup, which I'm forgetting stuff. Okay. If you did watch my last video, you may see some reoccurring products in here. I've got a lot of stuff here and I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm positive I'm missing something from this haul because I just feel like I'm incomplete. Also, <laughs> notice these hoops. Uh, this is part of my haul, I guess. I ordered them off AliExpress and I didn't realize how big they were going to be. Let's get into the haul. I don't want to waste much more time. Um, but first I'm going to show you one of the things I got um, because I want to, I need it for a second. So I don't know if I've mentioned on my channel, but I love Pennywise, like the 2017 Pennywise. And I've been looking for a bottle opener for my alcohol, aka something like this. So I walked into EB Games, I saw this, and I was like, I am buying this. So let's crack this bitch open. I'm weak. <laughs> Thank you. I like these because they taste like lemonade. I don't know what time it is, but I can't leave the house now. Since I kind of started off with like, not makeup related. I'm going to show you the other non makeup related thing and then we'll get into the makeup. So the other non makeup related thing that I purchased is the Bath and Body Works Campsite Coffee Candle. I love, okay, so I don't know, again, I don't think I've told you guys this, but I used to work at Starbucks like last year. But my favorite thing about working there was always the smell of the coffee and this specific candle literally nailed that scent. It's just, oh, it smells like coffee grounds. Fuck, it smells like espresso. I love it so much. I'm thinking about buying five of these candles and just burning them throughout the next year because I love this smell so much. I am in love with this. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I want to marry this candle. Now let's talk makeup remover because for some reason I bought a lot. I don't know why. Okay, so the first thing I purchased was from Clinique. So I actually got these next few things in a set from Clinique. It was $52 and like the value though, like you'll see. Okay. So you get a full size of the take the day off cleansing balm. And I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. Um, if you're doing full glam or like kind of something like this, this is awesome because it is kind of like, obviously it's like a, um, a bomb texture. You put it on your face, you rub it around and it kind of becomes like really liquidy and almost like a, a bomb to oil type situation. And it gets all your makeup off. The only thing I personally find it's not good at is getting eyelash glue off. You literally have to scrub the shit out of your eye and that's not good for your eye area, but I really love this stuff. And it came in a set with the Take the Day Off Cleansing Towelettes. And these are amazing. Like I've used one or two of them and I think they're really good. So this one is $42. 40, yeah. No, these are $40. This is $42. And then these are like 20 bucks or something. So overall, that's like over 60 or just about 60. And that's such a good value because you're paying $52. And you get this with like a makeup bag. And then you also get this little um, headband that says Clinique on it. And it's really cute. Um, and I think it's such a good value. If you see that set anywhere, cop it because it's amazing. Next makeup remover we have is this beauty right here. I've heard so many people talk about this. Kathleen Lights loves it. And everyone at my work was like, you need to try this. Like, it was like a cult thing. It was like, Bioderma. And I, f I felt so out of place not using it. So I got this one for dehydrated sensitive skin and I actually do like it. It's really nice. I have yet to see if it will take off eyelash glue, but we're gonna find that out today because I'm gonna use this when I take my makeup off. Um, let's talk about skincare now because I got a few skincare items. Um, oh, I don't even think I mentioned this, but I am throwing in the stuff I got at both the um, Sephora appreciation sale and the VIB sale. This is just a collective haul, but I am throwing in stuff from those sales. So this is, one thing I've been trying to get my hands on 
literally forever, but I have not been able to find it. Why did I open this drink and I'm not drinking it? It's the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I got this stuff in a sample a while ago, and I freaking loved the smell. They say... It's very citrusy. I would say it's kind of, like it's orangey and like there's obviously like a hint of like lime. Ugh, I don't know. Ugh, it's so good. I really like it. And it's got no alcohol in it so it doesn't dry out your skin. But this stuff just feels really good. I typically use this with my skincare. Like my routine. And I just spritz it on and it gives like a really nice layer of moisture. And like I only got the small one. This is the 100 mil, but there's a 250 mil that I'm gonna pick up when I'm done this one, cause I actually really love this. From the drugstore side of skincare, I picked up the Pons Clarin B3 Anti Spot for Even Tone Cream for normal to dry skin. These names are so long, and I don't know why. Just like make it easy for me, please. This stuff is really nice. If you're an OG subscriber, you know I used to use my Pond's Dry Skin Cream, but that one I found was like really thick, and I wanted to try some new ones because they have this one and an anti aging one that they came out with, I think, pretty recently. And I actually like this. This is like the dry skin cream, except it has a more lightweight texture to it, it smells a little bit better. I would say this one smells like clean laundry and that's like a weird smell, but I just like clean scents to my products. Also for skincare, this I've been trying, I've like been using every single day um, in a now deleted video, so it's gone, obviously. Um, I mentioned how I was trying out the Mermaid Skin H2O Serum from Tarte. That one was $55, and I was like, I need to find one that's cheaper. So I found this one from Vichy that you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, and this stuff is actually amazing. If you get it on sale, it can be like $30. I will be doing a favorites video sometime soon. I really have been liking this for my skin, and I notice that my skin just looks more plump all the time. Like, I literally look like someone put a bike pump in my head and like, stepped on it like once I just look so plump and firm and I like it <laughs> another product from Vichy that I've been loving and I've literally tried to get people hooked on this because I love it so much what that's a thing like when I love something I will literally try I will tell people I'll be like this is the best thing ever and then they'll go try it and they'll be like oh my god I love this too I've been trying to get people hooked on this because I think it's amazing it's the Vichy ideal body bomb literally this stuff smells amazing makes your skin feel so good and like oh my god like this stuff is phenomenal I've had this for like a month and a half and I've used like half of it it smells like peach yogurt. It's like a very clean, like peach yogurty smell, if that makes sense. And when you put it on your skin, it makes you feel like a slippery slug. But then when it absorbs, you feel so soft. Like your skin feels like silk. And it's like the most amazing thing ever. I want more of this stuff. You know what would be awesome is if Vichy came out with this product, but a little bit thinner, maybe like a moisturizer that would be cool if there is one let me know but this stuff is just so nice and I love the smell I think that's why I love it so much is like the smell all right so I don't know if this would be considered skincare at all because it is technically a primer that's what everyone's been using it as but it is really nice just as a layer on your skin I got the Tatcha silk canvas primer you guys have seen this in some of my videos already and you can tell I've had it for a while this is how far back this haul is going I don't want to be overzealous and say this is my favorite primer but it's definitely up there I typically will use this around my nose because I really like how it keeps the makeup stuck there it's like cement and I really do love this this is it as big as my earring oh my god my earring is bigger than the packaging that's wild <laughs> alrighty um now I think we're getting into all the makeup Okay, so this product I'm going to talk about because I talked about in a get ready with me really recently. Um, I bought a duo of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, but I literally can't find the, anyone, the other one anywhere. I love that. Spending money and losing something. But yeah, I have two of these somewhere. Um, now I'm going to get the palettes out of the way because if you watched my last video, you probably already saw them. But I picked up the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. This is just the very intense 
blue palette and you guys know how much I love my blue eyeshadows so that is this right here I'm surprised it looks like there's been a lot of use on it but I've actually only really swatched it I'm kind of like this is very recent for me I'm actually kind of mad how I haven't used it and I really want to get like the green ones so I might do that soon but there we go um the other duo I guess I would say or palette that I purchased within this period of time this might even be longer I bought this and didn't talk about it it's the sugar pill and Trixie Mattel oh honey palette I bought this I swear I used it like once or twice and then didn't use it um, it also came with this liquid lipstick called Barbara, which is really nice. Um, this one I actually wasn't fond of. I found it to be really streaky, but I still, like, kind of want to use it and have a full, like, opinion on it. Because so far I just don't. Um, some, like, the colors in here are nice. I just haven't had time to play with it. And that's all I'm going to say. Because I don't want to be like, oh my god, I fucking hate this. And be wrong, like in two weeks when I use it you know I like the blush though like I will say that the blush is really nice can you tell I love a lot of blush another thing I'm not sure if I showed you guys I got this I think in the last VIB sale the appreciation sale um this is the Becca gradient sunlit bronzer in the shade sunrise waves I wanted this for a while and I was kind of hesitant to buy it because I don't really buy stuff from Becca the only thing I've bought from them I bought two things but one was like from somebody um I bought the champagne pop highlighter and I think that was like $48 Canadian so I was like I don't really need anything from Becca if I find it I find it if it goes on sale it goes on sale and this one went on sale for $27 and I had been eyeing this up for a really long time so I saw it and I grabbed it so quick <laughs> I literally stayed up until 3 4 in the morning just to get this and I'm so glad I did because I actually really like it I kind of just wish I also got the deeper shade I think that's sun sunset waves I don't know um, but I wish I got that one too I don't know why I didn't but I really do like this bronzer and I think it is awesome Okay, now this girl in this entire haul, this is the most exciting thing I'm talking about because, okay, here's the story, sis. I saw this on Sephora and it was $79. It was $80 and I really, really, really wanted it. It's a really good deal. So I put it in my loves list and I was like, okay, maybe during the VIB sale, I'll cop it. And then me and Piper, we decided we wanted to go to Cam's Wonderland because what else do you do the last two days it's open when it's raining you go to Cam's Wonderland, right? So we get there and security stops us and they're like, we're closed. And I was like, did I really waste half a tank of gas getting here just to tell us it's closed? right so Piper's just like let's go to Von Mills Mall so we did and there was a store there that carried this product that I had wanted but I worked at that store so I got a discount right instead of $79 it became 55 and your girl was so happy it is this this beautiful package right here it's the magical brow stars from benefit like I said, this is the most exciting thing in this haul. This, in here, you get five full-sized brow products and a brush. <laughs> you get the Goof Proof, the Precisely My Brow, the Cabrow, the Gimme Brow, and the Foolproof Brow Powder, and a freaking brush for $79. But I got it for $55. That's like $10 a piece. Like, I'm still in shock. Like, I just don't even want to touch anything in here because it just looks so nice. I'm not trying to brag. It kind of sounds like I am, but I'm not. I'm just really excited because I love saving money. But, like, even if you don't get a discount on this, like, even if, like, you missed the sale and you didn't have the opportunity to pick this up with the 20% off, I highly recommend you still get this because it is such a good deal. Like, you get full-size products of literally everything, and it says it has an $160 value. Like, that is a really good deal and I'm just like so excited I used the um precisely my brow I think a week ago or something it's literally the exact same as the L'Oreal brow stylist definer that I talk about a lot because 
I love that one, but it's literally the exact same thing. So if you don't even want to buy the Precisely My Brow, just get the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer because it's the same thing. Before I forget, let's let's show these. These I'm going to show very briefly. In my Aquaria tutorial, I told you guys for my eyelashes, I used the Viso Free E7 lashes and these are what they look like. This is after one use. They're still in really good condition. Um viso free or viso free i say viso free because it sounds more polished and i think that's how you say it these are really beautiful lashes this is how they come and these were three dollars like what <laughs> like these were three dollars so first of all that's a great deal um and so that obviously this is something i've bought in the past three months and then i also got these ones these are the e12 lashes right here these are like more wispy and more natural and then i have these these are the e1 lashes i would open them but i'm actually going to be giving these to a friend of mine so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna touch up on these but these are the ones i currently have i actually did make an order today and i ordered 17 more pairs of lashes because they're having an 11 11 sale going on they really do have good lashes. I will have their store or like shop page linked in the description because they have really, really amazing lashes. And for $3, they're bomb. The only downside is that literally, can't open this. The only downside is that literally um, it takes a month to get to your house, but the lashes are so worth it like I don't think it should matter I've talked about this a few times on my channel I believe I think I have the video where I talked about it may be deleted now but I've said how much I love the essence keep it perfect I almost said take the day setting spray oh that's cute <laughs> Clinique don't come for me <laughs> this is the essence keep it perfect makeup fixing spray I personally think that this is one of the best setting sprays ever and this is like five dollars but right now as of like november 10th shoppers drug mart is discontinuing them so like in canada they're discontinuing this setting spray so if you want to get them go on the website go into a store should be like three dollars like i said this is my favorite setting spray and shoppers is discontinuing it and that's where i get my settings like that's where I get all my essence stuff so I decided to pick up two more um I am gonna pick up more like I think I'm gonna pick up like five or six because if I won't be able to get this again I will honestly be like so disappointed if I will not be able to get these setting sprays ever again I'm honestly like might have a mental breakdown because these are the best like I've said it's better than the Smashbox primer water and I honestly do think it is. I've been using the primer water for years and then I tried this what last year at the beginning of this year and I think this is the best freaking setting spray ever. Essence will you please send me a lifetime supply like I will sell you my soul honestly like I'm not even joking. Do you want my social insurance number? Here you can take it. Just send me every single one of these that you have left i wish i was joking but i'm not i also went to the drugstore and i noticed that they had a bunch of nyx stuff on clear out i decided to cop some of those i'm gonna show you everything that i got from nyx that they're discontinuing not discontinuing but they're just they're on clear out so i got some lipsticks which i'll do swatches of so you beautiful people can see um these are the pinup pout lipsticks i originally heard all of amelia talk about them i'll have her link down below because she is awesome what was that she said that the pinup pout lipsticks were really good so i was like i want to try them and they're on clear out so why not so i decided to pick up two the first ones I picked up, well, I don't even remember which ones. I think I had picked up these two, Boundless and Corset, or Corset. I usually just say Corset. I don't know why I didn't say that first, but whatever. Um, and then I liked the formula so much, so I decided to go back and get Almost Famous. So I'll do swatches of those. So this one right here is Corset. It's like, it's like a brown color. It's kind of like... To me, this is like my natural lip color. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm literally wearing lipstick. This is like my natural lip color in a way, except deeper. 
I think I'm already drunk. I just really like this. This is a really nice nude, um, like brownish nude. Next we have Almost Famous, which this one is like on me. It kind of looks purple. Oh yeah, it totally does. Like in the swatch, you can tell it looks purple. Now this is the shade Boundless. This this one is my actual like natural lip color. Um, except it's not as muted because I have a very muted lip color. Um, <clears throat> but this is like if I were to up the saturation on my lips, this is what it would look like. And I this one. This is what it would look like. And I really do like these lipsticks. They have a nice creamy formula. They're not too like they're matte. They're not too drying, which is really nice, but they don't just slip off, if that makes sense. Okay, also from NYX, I decided to pick up a few blushes because um, I have the NYX, the blush and taupe that everyone used to use as a contour shade, but I just don't use it that much. Um, so I had picked up, what shade was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, I had picked up this shade right here called Hamptons. It, you literally can't tell because I have like so many lights on right now. Not so many. I've got two on in the pan Like aside from like seeing this now this kind of looked like a cool tone like kind of um, Rose shade, but it's actually like a really bright pink um, So I got home and I was like I like the formula, but I don't really like the color so I was like, I'm not, I, like, it, when they're on clear out, you can't really return them, so whatever. So I went back the next few days, and I picked up three, three more. Okay, go to bed. So the first one I picked up was Amber, and this was kind of more the color I was going for. This is like a deeper kind of like peachier shade. I really like deep blushes. I think I use, yeah, I use this one today, and I really like how it looks on my skin. I applied a little bit too much, but... You, that's how we roll on this channel, okay? Then I got this one, which is in the shade Intuition. This is very similar to Orgasm by NARS. I would almost say it's a dupe, um, except this one isn't as chunky as that one. Then this last one here is in the shade Summer. This is like a really bright coral, like, peach color. I really like this, and... I have yet to use most of these. The one that I have used is the shade Amber, and I feel like I might start using this one a little bit more. If y'all been watching my channel, you know that Weirdo by ColourPop is the best. Thank you, Lord. Okay, also from NYX, they were clearing out their white liquid liner. I don't know why. I still don't know why, but I decided to pick that up. I have used their colorful liners in the past and I really loved those. So when I saw the white, I was like, I want it. I want to be Tracer. Okay. Anyways, um, I do plan on picking up a, a backup of this, but yeah, it was only $5. So why not? Honestly. Okay. Um, next product I want to talk about briefly. I'm not going to say much about it. Um, but I found this on Facebook Marketplace and I usually buy stuff off there like makeup and stuff if it's like can be cleaned like I won't buy liquid lipsticks off there lip glosses anything like that it's something that I can sanitize and that you have to kind of like pump out like I might buy a bronzer a blush on there a foundation which is what I bought I bought the Too Faced Peach Perfect Come From Matte Foundation and I wanted to try this for a while but they never had my shade and they still don't but in Canada it's normally $45 and the girl was selling it for $10 sorry I'm gonna burp and it's in the shade Snow which is like the second lightest shade which I can still kind of get away with um I'll show you my regular foundation shade and then this one beside it so this is the foundation I'm wearing today. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin. It's my favorite foundation ever, aside from the Maybelline Superstay. This one is just so good, and it just makes my skin look so freaking nice. So this one um, is weird because it looks deep in the bottle, but when you pump it out and blend it out, it looks, like, lighter. So this is that one. I'm just going to blend it out, like, a little bit. See, like, that's kind of what I mean. Like, I don't know if you saw that. Get a little lighter. Phantom. Okay, I have nowhere to wipe this, and that's awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to pump out the Peach Perfect one right beside it. So it's right here. See, like, obviously you can see, like, a hair of a difference. Um, this one is obviously, like, a little bit more yellow-based, and this one um, is more pink. I just feel like I have to mix in like a little bit of a lighter foundation in with it and then it'll be fine to use. But like $10? Are you joking? When I saw that post, I was like, this is probably fake. 
again, like I haven't used this. I bought this fairly recently, maybe like two weeks ago. I just haven't really played with makeup that much and I'm sorry. These were on clear out from shoppers as well. These are the NYX Lip Lingerie Glosses. I think I talked about this briefly like a long time ago. And again, a video that was deleted. Um, I really like the formula of these. These are so nice. I actually wore this color right here, Spirit, in my comparison video of the soft glam and the sultry palette and i really liked how my lips look because they look like blowjob lips and that's what i'm going for <laughs> um so i just really like these glosses i think they're nice in okay so i don't know if y'all really paid attention to my lips in that video but the entire time i was filming and talking i swear to god i filmed that video for like half an hour 45 minutes I didn't reapply my lip gloss once like these stay on for a really long time they're not overly sticky but they don't just come off if that makes any sense they're very smooth they go on very silky we really like them this one this shade um shy it is a little bit pale for me not gonna lie um I'll do a little swatch so this is that one it's really like a pale pink but on me it makes me look like I have glossy concealer lips and it's not cute. Um, and then this is the other one. And this is like, this is my shit. We love, we love this. So I never really jumped on the Kylie Cosmetics bandwagon. Like the only thing that I was really interested in was the Chris, like the Momager collection. But it was really expensive and I'm not paying like $85 for like five mini liquid lipsticks like I don't think so thank you though so I went to the mall and there's this place called showcase and they typically sell um like they sell KKW and they sell Kylie Cosmetics this stuff is authentic like you can tell I have friends where I've compared packaging before and like they do sell authentic stuff and I decided to pick up the candy K liquid lipstick because this is the one lip like lipstick shade that she came out with that I really wanted because all the other ones like I knew would not match me but this one I had like a good feeling that it would and I really wanted the liquid lipstick set because they did have it and on the sign it said it was $30 and I was just like oh my god okay <laughs> yes sister so I brought it up to or I got it from the girl because they kept it in like a case so people wouldn't steal it and she rung it in she's just like it's $67 I was like not today thank you so I decided to get this one instead and I'm really happy because like I said this is the one that I wanted since she started her brand because I just really love the color um I think it's well I was gonna say I think it's kind of obvious I don't really like li liquid lipstick but I'm wearing it today so I'm not even gonna say anything so this is what the color looks like I feel like everyone obviously knows but just for comparison purposes I'm gonna swatch velvet teddy from mac right beside it so you can see what's what's good so this is velvet teddy beside it to me they look the exact same and obviously there's just a difference between the formula because one's a liquid lipstick and then the other one's a lipstick but velvet teddy was like my favorite like if you go back to my everyday makeup routine like one of my first videos i used velvet teddy that was like one of the only things i used um i also really like how the liquid lipstick dries down because it dries down enough where it's comfortable doesn't dry out your lips it honestly feels like the sephora collection cream lipsticks which is what i'm wearing right now and i really do love them like i said i have not been getting butthole lip let's see how long I've been talking for 30 minutes and I still don't got butthole lip. Thank you though. So that place I was talking about showcase, they also sell um, lime crime velveteens. And I have this shade right here called Beat It. I got this specifically for the winter because I really have been liking um, more berry kind of like purple tones for the winter. This is Beat It right here and I really like it. This is what I purchased from the actual VIB sale. This is what I purchased like two weeks ago. Obviously I purchased this, like this came in a few days ago and I really have been liking it. Um, but what I purchased from the actual like sale, like this is what I purchased two weeks ago. Um, I purchased this, this is the Bite Agave Lip Balm. I originally bought this when I was sick because when I am sick, the top of my lip gets like really crusty and nasty. And 
this is the only lip balm that will get rid of it and not irritate my lips so I got it and I've been using it a lot. It smells like cake, which I really like. I don't think a lot of people will really like this because it's very, very stiff. You really have to like scrub it on your lips to really get any of the product out. But I kind of like that because that's how I know it's working. And I find because it is like that, it stays on a lot longer and really hydrates the lips. Other than that, I use the Aquafina lip balm, which you can get in a duo pack from the dollar store. But... I really like this one. It is $20, $22, but I really think it's worth the money. And then <laughs> the other two things I got from the VIB sale are Morphe brushes. And in Canada, they actually recently brought Morphe to Sephora. Like we've got the Jaclyn Hill palette. We've got all this stuff, um, some brushes, not a lot, but I decided to pick up two. The first one I got was the Morphe M510, which is kind of just like a highlighting brush. Um, I do have one like this. It's the Wet n Wild P75. It's literally the exact same except this one is like a hair brush and then the other one's like a dual fiber which it's okay. Then I also picked up this one. This is the Morphe M433. This is the only brush like shape I do not currently own. So I just wanted to try it out and see if I like it. I believe this is called the Firm Crease Blending Brush. I could be wrong. I almost hit myself in the face with that. I could be wrong, but I really do like the shape of it. Um, I am planning on purchasing the James Charles palette, so I'm hopefully going to like throw in a few eye brushes. But yeah, uh, be prepared to see tutorials with that because if you've watched my palette collection video, I did mention I was going to buy it, but I just am not... I'm not feeling it with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette anymore. I kind of just need something new. So, James Charles, I'm coming for you. Okay, now this is the last product I'm going to talk about unless I suddenly remember that I bought something else. I did buy something else, actually. I bought a big bottle of Advil because I get headaches all the time. And I bought a four-pack of my Smirnoff Ice and a bottle of Sour Puss. Like, that's all I really bought. I bought an Erin Condren planner. That's about it. I don't think you guys want to see that. If you want to see planning videos, let me know. Um... I got a request for it from a friend of mine. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is new to the drugstore. And I can't believe no one has talked about this. Naked Tutorials, where are you? Like, honestly, I'm so disappointed. Um, Maybelline came out with new highlighters. These are the Face Studio Chrome Extreme Intense Metallic Highlighters. I saw this and originally I had only seen the rose gold shade and like the pure gold shade and I was like Maybelline needs to come out with a white highlighter like I'm sorry like do they forget that people with printer paper complexions exist so I was like gallivanting around and I saw this one my sorry my prayers have been answered. This is probably, like, this is such a nice highlighter. This, okay, so this is a very creamy formula. This is actually what I'm wearing now. <laughs> on my face, on my nose, on my upper lip. This is what I'm wearing all over my face. I really do like this. The only thing I've noticed in the past, like, few times that I've used it is it is a super creamy formula, and this will break really easily. Um, I just have a feeling it will. Obviously, mine has not broken, but... I just, I feel like if you drop this, it, it's gone. I've swatched this once or twice and it's already kind of like starting to make an indent. I've used it a little bit and you can definitely see like a little bit of wear in it. But I think that this is a absolutely beautiful highlight. Like I barely even touched it and there's like a huge huge swatch like oh my god this is beautiful i personally love watching hauls and if y'all didn't enjoy this then whatever i enjoyed making it and honestly how extra is this look for just a haul like what time is it it's like nine o'clock at night <laughs> and i was like i'm gonna film a haul because like i've been wanting to do it for a while but like i just haven't been in the mood to film I don't know. You, you guys probably don't care. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you liked. And if you want to see more videos from me, please make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video.